how do you breathe? This is how your length of time that you hold your breath for is based on your tolerance to carbon dioxide. So um, what I would like you to do is to try this exercise yourself. If I'll just explain it. You take a small breath in through your nose, it's small. So you shouldn't really hear it or see it, you know, it's only a gentle breath in. A gentle breath out. Then you hold your breath until you feel the first signs that your body is telling you to breathe. So in other words, you're not holding your breath for as long as you can. When you feel the first signs, you may feel movement of the involuntary breathing muscles. Then you let go, breathe in through your nose and calm your breathing. And this breath should be relatively calm to hear. So I'd like you to try it yourselves there, see how you get on. Do you have watches with second hands or phones? I can put on a, can you see that? Yeah. Okay. So whenever you're ready, don't, not to hold your breath for as long as you can. It's just a little test for yourselves. Sorry, it's easier if you hold your nose. Take a small breath in, small breath out, hold your nose and hold your breath until you feel the first urges and count how many seconds you hold your breath for comfortably. I heard a big breath there through the mouth. Somebody held it for too long. You're happy you've it done? The significance is that the, the lower your breath hold time, the heavier you breathe. So the lower your breath hold time, the heavier you breathe. One of you took up mucus there. It's normal as well. Carbon dioxide causes smooth muscles surrounding the airways to constrict. By holding your breath, you increase carbon dioxide a little in the blood, and it will help open up the, open up the airways. If you have an asthmatic, well, if your CP, which is your control pause, is less than 20 seconds, there's another person bringing up mucus. Symptoms such as coughing, wheezing, breathlessness, chest tightness, fatigue, blocked nose, exercise-induced asthma is present. Once the breath hold time increases above 20 seconds, morning breath hold time, you will see a significant reduction in all of those symptoms. Can you think of it this way? Imagine somebody parked their car outside the building and they walked across the lobby and you've seen them and they're quite breathless. They're only walking slowly, but they're still quite breathless. That person is breathing heavier than their, meta than their metabolic needs. They're only doing small, gentle exercise, but their breathing is in excess of really what it should be. If I was to sit that person down and watch their breathing, it too will be heavy during rest. And if I was to measure their breath hold time, it will be about five seconds. The lower your breath hold time, the heavier you breathe. So how do we increase it? Well, just to make the point that you will feel better each day as another person bringing up mucus. Now you weren't bringing up mucus before you did it. So there's a little cause and effect there. You feel better each time your breath hold time increases by five seconds and your nose will remain blocked until your CP is 20. We don't use that exercise with kids. We'll show you a slightly different one. How do you increase your breath hold time? You have to stop big breathing. If the mouth is open habitually, your breath hold time is going to be low. We practice reduced breathing exercise designed to reset the respiratory center. And of course, you see that there, stop sighing. If you sigh, you'll continue the habit. How do you unblock the nose? This is the first step. The nose is blocked because breathing is too heavy. Breathing is too heavy, it's causing a loss of carbon dioxide. Venous blood vessels in the nose expand. I would like you to all try this exercise. We'll talk you through it. If you could sit up a little bit straighter, please. And, but if somebody has got high blood pressure or is pregnant or cardiovascular disease, please go very easy. So if you close your mouth first and then take a small breath in through your nose, small breath out through your nose, hold your nose, and now sway and hold your breath for as long as you can. Hold your breath for as long as you can. You need to hold your breath for as long as you can. When you feel a strong air shortage, let go, breathe in through your nose and calm your breathing immediately. It's better if you sway because metabolically you'll produce more CO2. Or you could nod your head up and down. Once you have it done, then just relax for about a half a minute or so. Now this will 
at, into your nose at the end. This will only temporarily free your nose. We'll do it for about five times. But you will feel a difference in the five times. You can free 99% of people's noses with this exercise in five minutes, even if they've had rhinitis for the last 20 to 30 years. It's carbon dioxide. Can we try it again? Take, now initially you may feel a little bit lightheaded. It's no problem, don't worry about it. It goes in a few seconds. It's just initial, it's your first time doing it. So again, try it again. Small breath in through your nose, small breath out through your nose, hold your nose and sway holding your breath. Sway holding your breath. And hold your breath for as long as you can. You will feel your dying.